hi guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys some quick tips um tricks and shortcuts you can use to speed up your design process in figma so i'm just going to dive into some of the favorite shortcuts i use some of these you guys must have seen in some of my previous video i'm working on a mac and if you're using the pc please make sure to substitute the keys respectively so the first one here is um, copy and paste styles. You can copy and paste styles of elements in Figma. For example, if you have a shape like this, you can hit command option C to copy and command option V to paste. You can see that the same stylings of this particular shape has been applied to this. You can also do the same thing on text. If you Select this text here and you click command option C and command option V to paste. You're going to see that you've pasted the stylings of that particular text onto the next one. You can copy the styles of a text onto a shape, but it's just going to take um, the common styles between them, which is something like the few. So if I command option C on this text and I use command option V to paste here, it's just going to fill it with black because that's the only on common styling they have in um together so i'm going to go on to the next one the next one we are having here is creating and breaking groups and frames in figma so if you have um an element like this these are individual elements if i select all these elements together and i hit command g to group them you can see it's now a group if you want to break this particular group instead of right clicking and going to ungroup what you could just do is just hit command shift g on your keyboard it's going to break the frame and it's going to break the group you can also frame a selection by hitting command option g right and you can also break that particular frame with the same um shortcuts that you used to break a group which is command shift g so basically it's command g to group a frame command option g to frame a selection and command shift g to break a frame and command shift g to break a group so that's how you create and break groups and frames in um with these shortcuts the next one we have here is um, four sides also layout padding you guys have seen me use this a lot if you select both of these elements here and hit shift a it's going to give it an auto layout i'm just going to give it a stroke so we can see the auto layout around it um to add padding to all four sides you're going to hold command and click on one of these input fields here once you do that it's going to give you a single input field to put in the um value for your all four sides pattern i'm just going to give it 10 pixel and as you can see there is a 10 pixel around it but you can also edit all four sides from this um sections here from this inner section here and the command is shift option then click on one of these so if you select one of these you can click you can hold shift then option then click it's going to activate all four sides and you can put in the particular value you want so this is how you can add um patterns to all four sides one auto layout elements um in figma the next one we are going to go to is to detach um multiple instance so this is an instance of a component and if i open up this group you're going to see it has other instances in it so instead of going into this and and right clicking and detach instance one after the other what you could do is hit command forward slash or control forward slash on your system it's going to open up this search menu and you can search for detach you can see detach all nested instances so you will make sure to select this frame then hit command forward slash then detach all nested instances when you click on it you will see that all the instances have been detached so this is really functional if you're just copying files from the figma community and you notice there are lots of instances that are nested in each other and you just want to detach everything at once instead of having to dive into the layers one after the other to detach them so the next one we're going to go to is um, using color names 
um, you can also use the exact color names um, for colors in your Figma. For example, you can just type in red instead of the hex code here and you can see it changes. You can just type in blue um, or white or purple, for example. So you can just type in these colors and you can get the exact color code for these colors. Um, the next one we're going to go is um, edit is copy editable SVGs from the browser. So I'm just going to open up my browser. So let's say for example, you want to pick an SVG file from this particular page here. We're going to try to pick one of these SVG files um, like the get on Play Store and the App Store um, SVG. So you can just go to the inspect, um, select this particular SVG you want to inspect. You're going to click on this arrow here, select this particular SVG you want to inspect. And you can see there is a link that you can go to. Once you click on this link, it opens up the SVG on this particular page. You can see open it up with the inspect. Once you do that, you're going to see the SVG on the top of the page here. By the time you right click, you are going to see a copy option and you can copy elements. Once you do that, you can then go back to your Figma board and paste it. So just as you can see here, this is an easy way to copy um, SVG files to your Figma board. The next we are going to go to is equally scaling groups of elements. So if I click on this entire frame here, this home screen here, and I try to scale it, Let's say I come to the edge of this um, and I try to scale it up a little bit. You can see that all the elements are distorted and they are not arranged. If you try to scale it down, it won't work. So to do this properly, you have to hit K on the keyboard, then scale it. Um, now you can see that all the elements are properly scaling in and out. This is very functional when you try to scale um, a group of elements or a frame that contains different elements of different types uh, and sizes and shapes and if you want to revert this you can hit V on the keyboard to revert back to the normal scaling option so it's K on the keyboard to scale and V to revert back to the normal scaling so, so that's that for equally scaling groups of elements the next one we are going to go to is copy as PNG we all know that you can copy as PNG if you right click on your frame then come to copy as PNG or you can also have use the shortcut which as you can see here is command shift C so you can hit command shift C so as you can see you can use command shift C to copy this and control shift C if you are using a PC so command shift C is going to copy it as PNG automatically then I'm going to come to the side here and paste it you can now see that we have just a PNG file um, with these designs i'm just going to close this up and go back to our last example and finally we have the quick copy and use embedded links we all know you can go to the share button and click on this copy link here to copy the link um, and paste it wherever you want although you can do that with the shortcut key command l to copy link and if you want to copy the link to a specific frame um, you select the frame just like the way you would do normally but this time you select the frame and hit command l it lets you copy the link to a specific frame and you can go to your browser and paste the link to that specific frame it's opened up with this specific frame and that's how you copy embedded links um, you can also embed prototypes um in you can also embed Figma prototypes. Let's say you're writing a blog or you're setting up a portfolio or a case study. You can embed the prototypes, the prototype of your design um, into the file you're working on simply by going to the prototype section and doing the same thing, copying the link to the prototype and pasting it where you want it to be. So guys, this is all. Thanks for watching. Um, Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.